Color is something that our brains instantly recognize when we go to a new website. And if we're going to a new website that we've never been to before, we make kind of an instant connection with the brand without even thinking about it based on the color that we see there. So it's very important for us as business owners to think about our color. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I use coolers.co to come up with color for my own website and for the websites of my clients. and I'm a business owner just like you and I help you to get your creative genius out into the world. I share content three times a week here on YouTube. If you hit the subscribe button, you'll see my content when it comes up in your YouTube feed so you'll never miss a video. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, so we're gonna dive into how to use this platform to come up with our color palettes. So I'm gonna head on over to my computer and let's get started. Here I am at coolers.co. You spell that C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot C-O. And I love this tool because it gives you quite a bit of things that you can do to generate colors for your brand without having to pay, which is awesome. And you can just come and you can do a couple of things here. So there's generate and there's explore. When you click on explore here, it'll give you color palettes that people have already created. So you can look through and see if there's something that kind of sparks your interest and maybe it's just one color. So you can look through and you can see, well, this one, there's one color here that I really love. It's that purple there and I can just hit on view and it will bring up the color palette and I can grab the hex code for that one color. So it can come down here and grab this hex code. You just click on it the one time and then you can hit Command C or Control C to copy it and you can put it in another document or you could put it in Canva and you can keep that color just based on exploring what other people have come up with. If you want to go through these different colors that people have created, you can just hit this next button and it'll shift to the next set and what people are coming up with and saving and sharing with the world. So again, here's another one that I really love and I actually love all of the colors here. If I want to save them all, I can just hit save and I can make an account or I can hit export and it will allow me to save like a PNG that I can keep in a folder on my computer and I can bring that into Illustrator if that's what you guys use to make things for your brand or you can bring it into something else, any kind of other software that you can bring it into and you can like look at it when you're creating something. So another thing I really like is to be able to save it by the URL and you can share that URL with people. So if you have a friend who's giving you feedback or you wanna get feedback in a Facebook group, you can easily share that palette out. That's one way, explore, to create color palettes or to look through color palettes that other people have already created and then kind of use a couple of their ideas to come up with something new on your own. The other way that I really like to come up with colors is by using Generate. So I'm gonna click there and I'm going to actually pull in a photo, which is my absolute favorite, although you don't have to do that. You can just hit this generate button and it will keep generating different color combinations for you. And you can just use what you see there on the screen or you can like lock the colors that you like and then you can come up with alternative shades here. So I could click on something else and when I get to a color that I like, then I can hit the lock to keep that in place and I know that those are the ones that I like. Or like I said, you can come up with a color palette from a photo. So let me do that now. I'm gonna click on this and then I have a photo down here that I saved from my Dropbox. And I'm gonna pull that in and this is a photo of a plate that was given to me by my mom. I really love <laughs> furry woodland creatures, foxes in particular, so she knew I would love this plate. So she grabbed that for me and gave it to me for a holiday or something. And I wanted to use that in a picture. And then I had this macaroon that I had from France 
left over that I took a picture of. So I have these things that I really love here and I am really visually drawn to the colors, which is something that I recommend for all of my clients to just rummage through your house, find the things that you're really drawn to visually as far as color goes, and then put them in pictures, kind of put combinations of things in pictures and take a picture of that or you know you can do pictures of each separate thing and then you can start playing with the palettes in coolers so you can figure out what things you're drawn to and if you come up with a couple of color palettes you can maybe ask for feedback from people or you can look at them in comparison to one another and make decisions based off of that but i do really suggest that you start with colors that you're drawn to because you have to be happy with the colors on your website the colors in your brand ultimately you do also want to appeal to your ideal audience so you want to make sure that you're thinking about who you are trying to target with your website. So I'm not trying to target men for the most part. So I can use these really soft feminine colors like you see in this plate in this macaroon and it will fit well with my audience. So what you can do now, I have this first color selected and I can move this around and figure out a color based on what I see here in the picture. Then I can move to the next color and again, move it around to figure out, you know, maybe I like that color just a little bit better. Or you can click on here to auto generate some colors. So it'll just keep going through the more that I do it. So I sort of like to just pick it my own. So I like to just come here and click on each one of these and then figure out colors that I like based on what I see here. And so this is really just something that I would do pretty quickly. Usually I would go through and kind of pick colors and then maybe if something isn't setting well with me, I would go back and try to find a different color that I like more. So like this red is not really my vibe. I don't really tend to be drawn to that red, even though I like it in the plate. It's not something I would like to look at, you know, week after week, month after month on my website. So I would just go through and kind of pick colors based on the things that I like here. So once I've figured something out, then I can just hit OK and it will pull up those colors in this large screen here where I can really evaluate and look at the colors in this big context and I can move the colors around so you can drag them so you can see if they look nice next to one another. So if there's something that I'm like, well, I don't know if this color really works with this color, I can drag it over and look at it next to one another and see if I really like them in combination with one another. Something else I really love to do is I like to look at the alternative shades because maybe something is too light or something is too dark and I can just shift it a little bit and it will make all the difference in the world. So here, for instance, maybe I want this to really be a darker color. And for my color palettes in general, I like to have a really light color and a darker color. And I don't hardly ever use straight up black or straight up white on websites because those are harsher on the eyes. So for instance, this really cream light color, I could use this instead of white and I could shift it a little bit more so it's a little bit lighter so that this could be a background color that I use on my website. And then maybe I wanna make this a little tiny bit darker so I could use this as the text color on my website. Already by shifting the shades of a few of the colors, I can see that I really like these better. And I can even just keep going through and seeing what different things look like. And when I settle on a color, you can hit the lock and that will show up when you're moving from the different colors here. And so I know that this one is one that I wanna keep. Something else that you can do within coolers is you can click on this color blindness to see the different color blindness, how it looks when somebody's colorblind, and you can see if there's enough variation in the colors for them to be able to distinguish the colors according to their colorblindness. My brother is colorblind, so this is something that I really love that coolers allows you to do. So I can just click through these and see if there's enough, which I think with these, you know, this color and this color are a little too similar, so I might 
shift the shades a little bit. Generally, all of these are pretty much different, distinct enough that I think that they'll work well on my website. So I can continue to look through that or just go back to normal and then click on the eyeball and then I am back to the colors that I originated with. Another thing you can do is toggle all the alternative shades, which I think is really awesome to be able to kind of see them all at once. And then you can kind of determine what things that you like when you do that. And when you hover over, like I'm showing you here, you can see all the different hex codes, which hex codes are great to be able to put into like Canva or something like that. Then here you can adjust by hue, so I can change the hue back and forth. I can change the saturation a little bit, which I kind of like it the way that it was, the brightness and the temperature. So I can kind of shift through things. And when I'm done, I just hit export up here. And then again, I can save it. I can save the URL. I can save the PNG. I can save it as a PDF. It's just depending on what you need it for. So I love that I have all of those options there for me to be able to save it and use it again later. You can also hit save here, but again, it's gonna ask you to sign up or log in. So if you haven't signed up yet, you might wanna do that. So this is one palette that I came up with from that one photo, and I'm gonna look here. This is another palette that I came up with from the same photograph. So you can see that just using one photograph, you can get really different results and I might save both of these and then look at them in context with one another or just basically sleep on it and think about which one I like more. And I don't have to make a decision today and that's what I often like to tell my clients is you don't have to right away make a decision. You can sleep on it and then later make a decision and it can allow you to kind of think about what you're more drawn to or what you can live with more. And then you can maybe come back into coolers and you can make some adjustments. So like right now I can tell you that this color is not my favorite. I think it's too muted and I would want something that's a little bit brighter. So I could come in here and I could see if there's something that I'm drawn to or I can click on this adjust and let's make it a little bit brighter, which, so something like this is something that I like a little bit more. And then this one is maybe too dark for my liking. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna increase the brightness here to more of that and you can also here see like the rgb cmyk so if you need to get all of the color codes that you might need to share with your designer or whoever you can find that here so that's about it i mean it's relatively easy to come in here and to figure out the colors based on a photo and then you can also just kind of figure out colors by going to explore or doing these other things but it is really actually super easy for you to come up with some color combinations on your own and then through those color combinations you can get feedback from other people or you can think about what you're drawn to more and what your audience is drawn to more and then make a decision from there so that's my process for coming up with colors using coolers.co I really love this tool. I think it makes it super easy for you to come up with colors. Now, if you're doing a redesign or if maybe you're creating a new product, you can go ahead and use coolers and come up with some ideas. As always, make sure that you hit the like button and hit subscribe so you can get new content from me. And if you're struggling still with your colors, leave a comment in this comment section below and let me know what it is that you're struggling with. Don't forget to stay creative this week, and I'll see you in the next video. I was usually using usual a lot. Okay, boo!